Hi friends, Jason Allen here from Midwestern Seminary in Kansas City, Missouri. Today I am thrilled to announce the Midwestern Seminary has acquired the Charles Spurgeon Heritage Collection from Spurgeon's College in London, England. From the 1850s until his death in 1892, Spurgeon stood as the leading Protestant minister on the planet. He oversaw 66 ministries. He preached to 6,000 people every Lord's Day. His influence literally spanned the globe and the impact of his ministry continues to trickle down to this generation. In the years following Spurgeon's death, his family made the decision to sell his library, and by his library, I mean primarily his books. An international bidding process took place, and about 6,000 volumes from Spurgeon's library found their way to Missouri, where it was housed at William Ewell College and in partnership with Missouri Baptist Convention for about a century. In the mid-2000s, Midwestern Seminary was pleased to gain those volumes, and in 2015, we were pleased to house those volumes and to dedicate the beautiful new Spurgeon Library in which I stand. About the same time the family made that decision to sell the books of the library, they also made the decision to deposit so many other belongings and artifacts from Spurgeon's life and ministry to Spurgeon's College in London, England. That collection has been there for well over a century, and it's a collection that we have been able to acquire in recent days. To understand the scope of this and to understand why this is such a significant announcement, you need to hear a bit about the contents contained therein. Coming our way is more than 11,000 pages of transcripts from Spurgeon's sermons with his personal markings and edits. Hundreds and hundreds of galley proofs from these sermons. Numerous first edition books owned by Spurgeon. Numerous Bibles and other books have been heavily marked and, and annotated by Spurgeon. Some 500 letters written from Spurgeon or written to Spurgeon by family members and other luminaries of the Christian faith. Some 700 sermon outlines that Spurgeon took into the pulpit that he would preach from. The original handwritten manuscripts for great works such as The Treasury of David, Lectures to My Students, and so many more. Additionally, there are scores and scores and scores of priceless personal artifacts. We're thrilled to gain it, not just to have more to display here, but because what we believe this represents for the future of Spurgeon scholarship and for the Church of the Lord Jesus Christ. Our prayer is that a generation of dissertations will come out of this by doctoral students who are eager to dive into this collection that though well cared for has not been thoroughly investigated or researched. We also are praying though that pastors and ministers and churches will be blessed by this ministry as these resources give us an expanded platform to see ministers of the gospel trained and filled with Spurgeon's theological convictions with Spurgeon's commitment to the Great Commission, with his love for the local church, with his passion for the lost. And also I want to invite you in the months ahead, as this collection and premier aspects of it are put on display here, that you'll find your way to Kansas City, to visit our campus, to attend a conference, and to take in and behold and be encouraged by all that is the Spurgeon Library.